So hello guys welcome back to the complete python series in this video we are going to see the different data types in python and some basic difference between them so before moving further let us see what is data type in programming data type is an important concept variables can store data of different types and different types can do different things data types are nothing but the classification of data items it represents that the kind of the value the variable is going to store you can also get data type of any object by using the type function the type function returns the data type of the variable now let us see different data types in python in python data types are classified in five different types such as numeric dictionary boolean set sequence type numeric data type is further classified as integer float and complex number and the sequence types are further classified as string list and tuple now let us see difference between all the data types first is the numeric data type numeric data types are the data types that represents the numeric values numeric data types are further classified as integer float and complex integer values store all the integer numbers the float stores all the decimal numbers and the complex numbers are nothing but the real part plus the imaginary part now let us see the integer data type and store a value of integer in a variable so now we will take a variable num and store value integer value 10 in it later we can print the type of num by using type function the type function returns the data type of the variable now let us store the float value in an another variable so let us take variable num2 and store a floating number that is 10.25 in it and then let's check the type of num2 now let us store a complex number in another variable this 1 plus 2 j is a complex number now let us check type of this num3 variable now after running this program we can see that the type of num is integer type of num2 is float and type of num3 is complex this is all about the numeric data types python supports three types of numeric data types that is int float and complex now let us see about dictionaries dictionaries are nothing but the unordered collection of data types which is used to store a key value pair these key value pairs can be accessed and used in many different ways dictionaries are created by placing the sequence of element inside a curly braces and the each element is separated with the help of comma values are the data stored in the key and can be duplicated but keys are unique and duplication of the keys are not allowed in dictionary so let us create a simple dictionary naming d so to create a dictionary we use curly braces so d equal to curly braces in this curly braces we have to write key value pairs so let us take one as key and write the value of this key as python then we can write the second element with an another key 2 and initialize the value as java so now 
here the dictionary d is created it has two keys that is one and two and two values python and java in dictionaries we can duplicate the values but the keys cannot be duplicated so to print this dictionary we can simply write print d this will print the dictionary and to check the type of dictionary just write print and use type function on variable d this will print the type of the variable d so now let us run it now you can see that the dictionary is printed and the type of variable d is dict this is all about dictionaries in python now let us see about the boolean data type boolean data type is used to store the values which are of boolean types that is either true or false boolean data types are used to check the condition so let us create a variable a and initialize it to true now we can print the type of a you can see that the type of a is bool it means this a is a boolean variable which can store either two values one is true or false this was all about the boolean data type in python the next data type in python is string string is nothing but the collection of characters in python we don't have character data type so we use string to store characters if we want to store a single character we can interpret it as a string of length one we can take one variable ch and initialize it to welcome now this string welcome is stored in a variable ch so the data type of this ch is character we can check it by using type function now you can see that the type of this ch variable is string this was all about the string data type in python now let us see about sets sets are the data type similar to an array but in this type of data we can store different values which are non-repeating means the duplication is not allowed in sets sets removes the duplication of elements and rearrange them in an unpredictable arrangement we cannot define the position of the element in set but set helps us to find if the element is present in it or not the main key point to remember in set is that duplicate data is not allowed so let us create a set s equal to curly braces these curly braces are used to define a set inside this we can write many different elements this one two three four five are the elements of set but we have to see that there are no duplicate elements in it now let us check the type of variable s the type of variable s is set now let us add some duplicate elements in it and check it now i have added here one as the duplicate element let us print the set p now you can see that the duplications are by default removed by the python and only one two and four is written this duplicate one is by default removed 
This proves that set does not allow us to store duplicate data in it. Now the next data type is list. Lists are used to store values of same and different data types such as integer, string, float, etc. The list is one of the most efficient and mutable data type in Python. List is similar to an array. We can store multiple data in a single unit. In arrays, we can store data only of a single data type. But in list, we can store the data together which are or which are of different data types. So let us create a list li and list is created using a square bracket and in that we can add multiple elements such as 1, 2, 3. Then we can also add characters that is a, b or any other data type because list stores multiple data types in it. Now we can print this list using print function. We can also check the type of the variable li. Here you can see that the list is printed and the type of li is list. So this proves that in list we can store multiple data which consist of different data types. This was all about the list. Now let us see what is a tuple. Tuples also can store elements of same or different data types. But a tuple is an immutable collection of elements. It means that once the tuple is created, we can perform operations on it, but we can't change the values which are present inside the tuple. It means that we can't add, remove or change any value once the tuple is created. We can create tuple with the help of parenthesis. So let us create tuple tup with a parenthesis and add elements 1, 2, 3. Now, once this tuple is created, we cannot add any element or remove any element. Tuples are immutable. Now, let us print this tuple and let us also check type of the variable tup. You can see that the tuple is printed and type of that variable is tuple. This was all about the data types in Python. In upcoming videos, we will see all the data types in depth. Thank you.